midway in our investigation of downtown DeKalb, Illinois, Egyptian theater, we had decided to follow up on alleged reports of one particular spirit who has been said to inhabit this theater, Irv Kummerfeld co-founder of PET, that's the preservation of the Egyptian theater, was instrumental in restoring this theater to its former glory. <sighs> I'm hearing clicks at the end of this room. You know, honestly, this isn't a bad seat. Irv, are you up here? Irv had died of a heart attack at the top of aisle Shh. one during a showing of West Side Story in 1988. Okay, I don't know if that's a heater or what. Irv's reserved seat was removed during renovations and placed here near the projectionist booth. This is where we had attempted to communicate with him. So, Irv, are you here with us? Can you say something to let us know you're here? Please? What was your favorite show here, Irv? I bet it wasn't West Side Story. Mm. I wasn't making a joke, but... <laughs> Are you ticked off they moved your chair? I think I would be. You own the damn place. I think you should keep the chair where it was. You, you didn't own it. Yeah, at least you still got a chair. Hey, Irv, could you do me a favor? I'm sure you've heard this before. Can you can you knock on the wall and finish this tune? Shaving a haircut. Shaving a haircut. Yeah. After attempting the popular shave and a haircut ploy to invoke a knocking response, I had heard a voice in my left ear say, goodbye. This was also captured on the camcorder's audio, even though no one else had heard this voice. I hadn't commented on this at the time because no one else had seemed to notice this voice, so I was inclined to dismiss it with no evidence to back it up. What was shocking to me was that while reviewing the recordings, I noticed that not only was his voice captured on the camcorder's audio, but that it was also captured on the recorder, which was placed on a chair roughly 30 feet away from me. This is interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, how was an EVP captured on a recorder 30 feet away when the voice was only faintly captured on the camcorder's audio and yet clearly heard by me? And number two, no longer requiring physical mass, can a spirit inhabit multiple locations at the same time? This would explain in some cases where a person could experience activity in one room of a location while similar activity occurs in another or a similar voice can be captured through EVP or spirit box at two different and segregated areas of a location.